hi guys so literally i got ready so fast in the car like there's my makeup guys there's my makeup uh today was is anthony's open house so we're gonna go in there and check out his open house his teacher what's up it's so hot in here i just turned off the car and it's already like getting super hot in here um so i just wanted to hop on here and vlog a little bit i look a mess because i'm just these few weeks have been crazy hectic the sun is crazy right now it's so hot um so that's what we're doing and we're gonna go get that checked out I'm gonna put bronzer on my this is me all the time just brushing like crazy so anthony are you so excited to go into second grade bud mm -hmm. yeah we are sleeping in the back so we really need to get her out sorry we're like rushing to do everything <laughs> Okay guys, so we are back from the um, open house. It was actually really... How dare you interrupt my video like that, sir? How dare you? <gasps> Man? Man? work it's been pretty stressful we're down a supervisor so i've been having to open for them a lot of the days and hey listen mama's talking right now you need to give me a second i can't look it's right <gasps> what was that <laughs> glitter mine's sparkly too can you see the glitter in mine no it just looks juicy school crept 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 up crept up on us um, much faster than we thought um so we had to get anthony's things like in a hurry and rush through them and i kind of just feel like not the best mom but i know like i can't judge myself off of that i'm doing the best that i can and i just kind of feel it's sad because i don't know my whole lifestyle has changed in the past few months and I miss my family. I miss my mom. I went to go visit them this weekend and you know, I saw some of my old friends. I um, hung out with a lot of them and uh, one of my friends, she was like, how are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm good. Like everything's good. And then we started talking, you know, you just keep talking and talking and at the end of the, the whole talk, yeah, that freaking scared me. She just stole a bunch of balloons down here. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> that scared me. I didn't know what that was. I thought it was like a wasp or something. Well, I have, um, I remember just going to like talking with her and then she was like, I see you're not okay. I'm like, no. <laughs> like I'm fine, but you know, it's like a whole bunch is changing in my life. It's so different we than the lifestyle, than the lifestyle that I used to live. Like teen, it's kind of like, I'm trying to figure out my routine now and I'm stressed about it because I don't know. And I feel like it's going to be pointless because here in like a year, I'm going to completely change my life again, probably moving away. I don't know what I'm doing in a year. So it's like a lot of what ifs. Um, and we're, right now, um, I'm not that, like I'm struggling, but like I'm okay right now because, wow, this makeup looks so good on camera right now. Um, so Aaliyah is gonna go into pre-K um, or preschool, I don't know what they call it, early childhood education, I don't know what they call it here, but we've been looking into it. The only bad thing is that I have to pay for that. So I have to pay like at least $200 a week for that and, um, it's just a lot of money coming out of my pocket. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out like if I can get like into, get her into a school, a preschool or something um, without, without it being that much because it's ridiculous how much preschool costs. Um, so we're struggling with that. Um, and then sadly the babysitter wouldn't, won't be able to take care of her. And I have nobody here. Um, the government doesn't help me, doesn't assist me with childcare or um, 
with like financial help they don't help me at all it's literally um i think the only thing that just for the people watching for the people who are like watching and they're like oh you probably get like government assistance or whatever no i don't i think the only thing that i've got on the government is um their health care and actually that cut got cut off once i got this job and then i got wick with anthony for a short period of time and that's the only thing that i've ever gotten from the government i've never had food stamps i've never um I've never gotten any help like financially besides healthcare and a little bit of WIC and that's it. Um, so um, for all those of you who are like, you live off the government, you are a teen mom. Um, I've actually had a great family, great support. My mother has helped me throughout thick and thin. She's always been there for me. She has supported me financially, which I'm thankful for that because without her, I think I'd have to be on financial aid and or whatever like government assistance but i don't do that um so right now everything is kind of just coming out of my pocket i also don't get any help from their dad as of right now um he hasn't helped for a while um i can't remember the last time he gave me money um he like he kind of throughout their lives he kind of has been in and out with like financially like yeah, he'll help for a little bit, but then he'll like event like it just dies down eventually and doesn't help. Um, I don't have him on child support because at the end of the day, um, it's just a whole mess that I have to go through, and um, I feel like I just don't have that type of time. I want to make time for that. Like I want to put child support on him, not because Anthony just farted. Excuse you, Anthony. Not because I like. Not because like it's something like oh he's gonna he's gonna get child support like I feel like eventually we have to come to an agreement of like what do you want like what do you want visitations do you want the, the children for the summer like I, I I don't know what he wants and um, he's just now starting to get into their lives again um, and so I don't know it's just a lot of what ifs and at this point it's like I just don't care enough because I know that I'm gonna work my ass off for my kids. Like I know that I'm going to work my ass off for my kids no matter what. Like I'm gonna, if I if I need two, three jobs, I will do it for my children. I'm not like people who are like, I have children and don't take care of them. Like that's not me at all. Like I'm going to do whatever for my children. So that's where we're at right now. So I think I'm stressing more financially because I'm like, I need to do all this stuff. Also I'm stressing because um, Anthony is in school now, so I have to figure out bus routes, like what time I need to put him on the bus, what time he needs to get on the bus, and then like I need to figure out, like I need to go through my work schedule and figure out like what days I, or like what days like I need to cut back or like ask um, for a few hours off so that, you know, our schedules can kind of eventually collide and like match because um, I have nobody here really to help me out. So it's just, it's stressful, I'm stressed. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, and I kind of feel like overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. What happened? What happened? Yeah? Did that happen? Are you okay? I'm watching Brittany and Baby. You're not, not okay. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> she hurt herself. Okay, so it's Anthony's last night before. Um, School starts. I love your PJs. How cute his PJs are. Do they have raccoons on them? <laughs> They're so cute. He's sad because he thought I was gonna let him sleep by himself. Um, something that's been struggling with the kids is sleeping in their own rooms. Like he has a wonderful room. He changes those things out all the time. But like he has a wonderful room that um, his auntie Ronza and Uncle Jonah gave him. But um, it's it's hard for him to still sleep in his room. He has always slept with me, literally. He's never had his own room, so he's always slept with me. I've, um, so he's very attached to me. He's a mama's boy, 100% mama's boy. And um, and it's something that we've been struggling with. And turn on this light. Turn off this light. Close the door. Not so much. I'll just sleep here with him. Everybody has to walk to the school, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're able to go. He's like, come to me by the door.
morning. Okay. Now, Antonio, are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go. Okay, I don't know where you're actually. Yeah. Sissy? Yeah, are you sad? She's sad that he's, her face is just like. Tonya, maybe we're speckled. Here, here. I don't know. I think we can put it anywhere, right? Oh, right here, babe. Anthony. Okay, so let's put your backpack. No, let's put it here. Let me help you. Put it right here, baby. Right here. Perfect. Okay, I didn't get you anything to drink, so get a milk today, okay? Okay. okay. You guys, we're picking up Anthony right now. I stayed home and did not very much at all. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hi, I, sister. I got my baby. Yeah, she got her baby in her bag. Um, I didn't do much at home today. Okay. Yes. Hi guys, I look cry cry. Look at how dark my eyebrows look. I need to chill. <laughs> I've been working, I've been editing videos. Um, we've been home for a while now actually. So I've just been sitting editing videos, making some dinner. I'll show you that in a little bit of <laughs> my hair. I just look crazy. This is the reality of it. I'm not even gonna like go fix myself up at this point because I don't even care. Um, but Anthony got back from school. He just last saw me in the car. Picked him up, we had a good conversation in the car, and I was like, you know what, I want him to tell you guys about it. So I'm gonna hand over the phone, and he can tell you all about his first day of school, or just, <laughs> Leo, what are you doing? <laughs> or just what he wants to tell you in general. My first day of school was good. And, So, and yeah, it was, it was really good. I really liked it. I, I made up some friends. Um, uh, met a couple of new people. And yeah, that's all. Guys, excuse my messy, messy stove. Jesus, I'm a mess, okay? I'm sorry about plants. Um, I wanna show you guys, I make spaghetti almost, let me turn this off real quick. Okay, <laughs> I make spaghetti almost every week for the kids. Something super quick, super easy. I'm pretty sure a lot of you moms find yourself doing the quick and easy meals. Something else that I love, 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 which I have a whole bunch in my little um, cabinet here, but like, I love these, um, Noor? not nor nor i don't know but i love this stuff um so i also cook this with like some chicken um or just in general just whenever i need something really quick to do for the kids and they're only a buck at walmart so if you're trying to you know budget and stuff these are our one dollar and one of these will will feed i usually do two of them to feed all four of us so um it's really really good uh but like I said I usually do spaghetti once a week. It's something that I love. The kids love. My sister loves spaghetti. So um, I'm trying turkey, um, turkey meat this time. I usually get hamburger or I think that's what you call it, right? Hamburger meat? I don't know. I'm really bad at explaining things. So I'm using turkey today, which I really liked because it wasn't as greasy. Um, I don't know how I like whenever I taste it though. So we'll see. I'll update you guys on it. And I just usually cook up my noodles and some people love to mix it together <laughs> some people hate mixing it together and just like plop it on um i usually just mix it together just because it's easier for me definitely up to you um and then i have some of the garlic bread in the oven so i got these this time i just want to try them out but um they might be a little extra for like every single week so usually what i do grab um, some bread, which the kids have clearly been eating, but I grab some bread. I just um, do a little bit of butter on them and a little bit of garlic salt. You can put like um, a parsley on it, um, whatever you want. But I just do, do that and like stick it in the micro or in the oven for just a few minutes. Um, 
and then just pop it out and give it to the kids. So they really like it. Um, you don't have to spend so much money. Um, it's Like I said, it's a lot cheaper than buying one of these packs. So that's usually what I do. Um, so yeah, it's almost done. Everything's almost done. Oh, I mixed it in to Antonio was talking on the phone with my sister. Um, I ran low on tomato um, on this um, traditional pasta mix. Um, this is usually what I use. But I usually use like one full one and then a little bit of um, another one. And this time I only had like not even a full one. So I just did what I could. So it's usually a lot more saucy. Okay. If you guys like to see what I cook more, then um, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, I would love to show you guys that. I'm just so tired right now. Like this whole first day of school always kills us, right? Anybody else? Anybody else tired, exhausted? I am. Okay guys, so now we're gonna sit down and eat. It's a little Parmesan on it. We have our garlic bread. Um, and we're gonna probably drink some water today. Um, I'll let you guys know how we like it. So, eat up.